You're watching Hype Life Films, and we are here at the Anime Revolution 2012 here in Vancouver. This year, we're celebrating the 20th anniversary of Sailor Moon, and I'm sitting here with the voiceover actor for Artemis, Ron Rubin. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good. Good to see you. So, uh, so Ron, um, how's it like playing a cat? Well, it's um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool actually. Artemis, um, um, I love uh, uh, the part of Artemis. Uh, the series, as you know, is dominated by by women, right. and uh, most of the cartoons are male dominated, and yeah. and the women uh, have have um, uh, different roles. But in in Sailor Moon, it's a very empowering uh, um, show for women, and the the male parts are kind of lesser, which right. is which is kind of different. I love Artemis. I really do. Yeah. He's kind of cool and laid back, yeah. and a little cocky when he has to be. Yeah. And it's um, uh, it's grown over the years. Yeah. It started off kind of a little more uh, laid back and then he kind of got a little more excitement right, in him right. and it's grown with the series and right. I love playing Artemis. I nice. love I love the character. So is uh, is like playing a cat different uh, in terms of uh, voiceover acting uh, different from doing voiceover for a person or a human? That's an interesting question. Uh, yes and no and the no part is uh, a character is a character. Right. You know um, but if you're playing um, a human, you have human characteristics. With the cat, I still speak right. uh, um, as a human. But you know, when he reacts, it's <laughs> you know, and he does all the cat sounds. Right. But you know what? It's still uh, committing to your character. Yeah. And whether whether you're playing this character or this character yeah. or Artemis, um, you're still kind of um, doing a character. Nice. So uh, yeah, I, I play a lot of animals, and so there's their characters. <laughs> Vincent Carrazzo will soon be available at the photo booth. Thank you. Thank That's you. the voice of God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, so how did you uh, end up with that role uh, with Artemis? Um, it was a lot of years ago, and the audition process um, um, was one where I went in. I don't know if I was given the role. I guess I, I guess I auditioned. Um, Scott again. <laughs> Please line up and purchase your ticket now. Yeah. Should we take a break over this? Uh, or we just keep going? Do you want to keep going? All right, we'll okay. keep going. Um, uh, they were looking for a cool laid back voice originally. Um, I don't know if you remember the um, the show uh, Moonlighting with Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepherd. It was the detective show okay. and Bruce Willis kind of had a laid back kind of, kind yeah. of vibe to him and that's the voice they wanted. Okay. And so for the first season, um, Artemis was kind of kind of cool and laid back, yeah. and then he got a little more energetic over time. And I yeah. made him my own. We talked about that a little bit yeah. originally, yeah. but um, I landed the part, and it was uh, it was a fairly uh, painless audition because I was kind of doing my own voice, just a little more right. laid back and cool. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because there wasn't a lot of male parts there, so uh, there was a lot of demand for each of the ones. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, for the new season of Sailor Moon that's going to be coming out, um, I, you're probably not allowed to talk about it, but um, if you were to uh, to get casted again, would you want to play a different role? No, uh, no, I'd want to no? stay Artemis. You yeah. want to stay Artemis. Well, especially, you know, and it's being reinforced this weekend here at Anime Revolution, right. you know, the following that all the characters have and, 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 and the following that Artemis has. Right. And, um, you know, uh, they're probably not going to cast me as Sailor Moon, yeah. you know, <laughs> so um, uh, I would love to play Artemis again. Absolutely. Okay. Nice. Absolutely. So uh, are you having a great time here at Anime Revolution? It's super. It's yeah. it's my first anime convention. I, actually, oh, nice. I've been to a few other smaller ones, right. but this is the first time uh, that there's been and this kind of a turnout, and we have a great panel, and it's so great seeing Terry, who plays Sailor Moon, and and yeah. and, and Susan, uh, Jupiter, and Katie, nice. Mercury, and yeah. um, I haven't seen a lot of these people in a little while. Right. Uh, some I see in Toronto, and some I don't. Yeah. And it's just great here, and I love the atmosphere, and I just love uh, the enthusiasm of all the people. I'm having a great time. Nice. So just to finish off, sure. um, what would you say uh, would stand out most about this convention? Uh, just the um, the words I just used, enthusiasm and, yeah. and love for the character. So many people have come up and, and said uh, what a difference uh, Sailor Moon has made in their lives right. and what certain characters has uh, meant to them. Right. And uh, just the passion. Okay, passion's a better word. Passion. Uh, I, I, I just say um, all the people's um, passion for the series and for anime and for particularly yeah. Sailor Moon. Yeah. And, you know, it's very different from... I do a lot of other different types of cartoons. Yeah. Um, and I've... Uh, um, uh, but Sailor Moon 
Cocoon somehow has the most longevity out of all the ones I've done and the most camaraderie between the actors. Nice. And it's just been brought out in this weekend, which has just been awesome. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us, My Ron. pleasure. Enjoy. Enjoy. Nice talking to you.